Yo, what up guys? Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Was the Son of k -Dash. This is part 6, and the last part, Izuku confronted Bakugo and told him why he's a lot more stronger than him and Todoroki. With that, Bakugo vows to get stronger himself and won't lose to Izuku ever again. But soon, Izuku stepping down as, well, class rep of Class 1A and giving it to Ida, mostly because he doesn't want the job. And soon, everyone in Class 1A heading to the USJ for rescue training. However, that soon stopped when a group of villains soon appeared, and one of them looking for Izuku. So with that said, let's get into this, shall we guys? Back at UA... Cooler is just sitting in her desk, feeling that of bored and that of and that of exhausted as well. With soon Min Minai basically going to her new teaching companion with that of saying why is she so tired? Why does she look so tired and so bored right now? With soon Cooler saying I had to do tons of freaking paperwork. And also went over everybody else's training. I, I didn't think being a teacher would be this exhausting. As soon as I saying, not a lot of people expect that, sweetie. With Cooler getting somewhat annoyed saying, you do know we're the same age, right? I just look like I'm in my 20s. With soon and I saying, sorry about that. As soon as Cooler saying, Honestly, I'm surprised that you guys didn't want me going to the USJ for to help out Class 1A. Since I am their combat teacher, after saying this, soon another person. As it being that of a muscular dude with white hair and somewhat, and sh somewhat sharp teeth. As it being Vlad King, home teacher of Class 1B. As he tells them, well, it only makes sense to send All Might. He has a lot more experience rescuing people in 13 as well, since she's in charge of the USJ facility after all. And last time I checked, Miss Diamond, you barely have any rescue experience after all. As he's soon saying, okay, you got me there. But still, I just wanted to see how Yuzuku was doing. Would soon present Mike actually hearing that comment saying, Yo, what's with your relationship with Midoriya? As we did, we did somewhat hear that you have some relation to him, saying he's my nephew, but not by blood. He's based, he's the son of one of my closest friends, who's basically like a big brother to me. So I always wanted to take look after him, but let's just say he's acting more like his father than the cute little adorable Izuku I used to know. After saying that, she began thinking of Izuku when he was still at least three to five years old. With soon all, all the teachers in the faculty room just couldn't help but feel somewhat, well, it, feel more interested in Kulit and Izuku's past. With a little time passing by, Kulit gets, gets a phone call and she's saying, oh, sorry, I think I got to take this. With then answering saying, hello, this is Cooler Diamond. As saying, on the other end saying, they're on the move. They most likely may have infiltrated UA. Saying, you're serious? But there's no, they may be on an off-campus facility. Tell me which classes are leaving, are off the school grounds. As thinking, oh shit. With then... Soon Cooler hangs up with Ben saying, I gotta go. It's, it's somewhat of an emergency. As she rushes out of the teacher's office with President Mike basically saying, What's with her? As Midnight saying, Probably an important phone call. It must be really important if she had to rush out of here. As Cooler begins running, however, then changing her, then creating that of ice skates on her boots. As rushing out of UA saying, damn it, Izuku, please be okay. Back at the USJ, Izuku and everyone else in Class 1A are being confronted by villains. With 
Heizuku thinking, this has got to be insane. How the hell did he? As soon, Heizuku brought out one of his phone, brought out his phone saying, there's no signal here. Within, Aizawa soon saying, 13, call, call the campus. Tell them we need help. As she's saying, I'm trying my best. However, I can't. With Izuku saying, they may have a quirk that cancels out signals. We can't bring out, we can't call anybody for help. As then, everyone looks at Izuku saying, how do you know this? I just checked my phone. We're not going to get any calls or messages out of here unless we can get somebody to leave the, U, the USJ to get help. Ida is soon, Ida saying, are you saying go? It's the perfect time to get out of here as fast as you can. With Aizawa saying, you all need to get out of here too. Not just Ida saying, you really expect us to let us go so easily? They just got into the USJ like it was nothing. With soon, Aizawa saying, then I'll get you some time to escape. As he soon puts on his goggles and readies his scarf. As he soon jumps down from the stairs. With Izuku saying, I hope he can. But what's the chance? But there's most likely that dude with the teleportation cork. He's not going to let us go so easily. But soon, see you saying, Izuku, don't we need to? Yeah, I know. Let's go. Everyone. As saying, Ida, you go first as fast as you can. As soon, Ida saying, but we'll catch up. Just go. As the. As soon, a purple mist shows itself as saying, there he is. I just need to leave him be and let Crizzly take care of him instead. As the purple mist villain says, greetings, ladies and gentlemen of UA. I am Korogiri and I am a member of the League of Villains. We came here to see if All Might was here, but it seems not. Because we believe that this would be the perfect place for him. The perfect place for him to die. As soon, Bakugo and Kirishima rushed at Korogiri. With 13 saying, you two, get back here now. As Kirishima rushed first, but then phasing through nothing. As like pure smoke. Until Bakugo released an explosion. Screaming out, die! As then, there's nothing but smoke all around them saying, <laughs> some villain, guess they couldn't even handle that. With Sue Korgiri basically on top of everybody saying, wow, UA does live up to the expectations, but you should listen to your teachers a lot more, students. You could hurt people with that, with your quirks after all. As soon, Izuki saying, run everyone! As they try their best with, e with him specifically yelling at Ida the most. As Ida took this as the perfect time to get out of here. As soon, everybody begins getting engulfed. However, only a few stayed in the entrance. But somehow, Ida was able to get out as soon as possible than he normally would have in canon. However, only a few being in the entrance. Leap like Izuku, who normally would have been in the shipwreck zone. However, Kurogiri basically made sure to leave him nearing the nearing the entrance. Saying, "What the hell?" As he looks around, seeing that only a half of their classmates are still here, being Ochako, Mina, Shoji, Saro, and Sato as well. As he looks at the entrance, seeing, "Good." Ida was able to get out of here as soon as possible. That's good to, that's good to hear. As soon, Kurogiri saying, damn it, I guess I did miss one. Saying, with Izuku saying, dumbass, you really expect us not to be prepared for something like this? Please, this is what you get for underestimating a bunch of kids, dumbass. As soon, saying, such, perv such vulgar words. You must be the son of K-Dash. Saying, how do you know about my dad? Saying, I, we have somebody here wanting to meet you. Somebody close to you, actually. I'm not sure if you know him or not, 
but he knows you and your father on that of a closer level. But soon, Korogiri soon lands back with Shigaraki, the Nomu, and Krizzly. As soon, Kirigiri says, it seems All Might isn't here. And I don't think he's going to be showing up anytime soon. Unless we allow one of the kids that escaped to go get him. With soon, Shigaraki saying, you let one of those brats escape? With then thinking, wait, All Might's not here? Fine. Then I guess we will let the brat that got him. But basically go get him instead. With then Krizzly saying, is he here? Is he here or not? Is saying, yes, it seems the son of Kadash is here, Krizzly. Don't worry, he'll get your, you can now fight him if you wish. Soon saying, gladly. As then, he's, as soon as he's saying, damn it. Mr. Aizawa is going to get overwhelmed by this point. Hell, his, he's most likely going to get dry high in the next few, couple minutes or so. But soon, 13 saying, you three, get out of here as soon as possible. They, they're most likely going to. Sorry, Miss 13, but I'm not the kind of person to just sit on the sidelines while people are suffering. So, you can give me the attention later. Right now, I need to go help my teacher. As soon, he also runs down the stairs within a couple other villains that haven't fought against Aizawa yet see him, as then even Chrisley sees him. As he doesn't see Izuku, all he can see is K-Dash saying, he's here. He truly is here. As soon, a couple villains try rushing at Izuku. However, Izuku destroys and beats them easily with a couple of kicks and punches like it was nothing, with not even using his fire. As some villains who had somewhat of strength quirks or durability quirks could even handle Izuku's punishment and barrages. With soon, Izuku was sent one of them flying next to Shigaraki and Korogiri and the Nomu. As Shigaraki sank, that's the brat. I thought he was a weak link. I thought he was just a stuck-up kid, the son of a hero. Saying, don't underestimate K Dash, that faker. Even if he has the, even the son of a faker can be dangerous if you leave them be. As soon, Krizzly begins walking towards Izuku. As Izuku notices the tall figure of a man, saying, "Who the hell? No." What the hell is he? He's giving off such an intimidating presence. And not only that, why does he, why does he look like my dad? As Krizzly soon stands in front, almost pretty close to Izuku, as the two look at each other, saying, you, you're the faker's child, are you not? Saying, faker? What the hell are you talking about, faker? With Chrisley under his massive coat saying, You, you should not have existed. A faker shouldn't have had a child like you, nor shouldn't have one at all. Saying, What the hell are you talking about, you asshole? You're not making any sense. As soon saying, I'm going to correct this. I'm going to prove I'm the original, starting with, the, with that bastard sprat. As soon, he conjures that of purple flames. As soon, Izuku saying, oh shit. As he, as Chrisley rushes right at Izuku. And Izuku conjures his flames as well. As then, the two begin to clash among each other. With the, with base Izuku and Chrisley fighting blow for blow, strike for strike. As soon, even Shigaraki's impressed seeing this fight as well as as soon as i was saying i knew midoriya was strong but that guy is on a whole other level and he's able to hold his own i have to i have to take care of this as soon as possible that means i have to take care of one of the final bosses as he looks at shigaraki 
as soon he tosses one of the villains that he had in his binding scarf right at Shigaraki. However, Korgiri was able to create a warp gate in front of the hand of the hand villain, which soon would soon Aizawa rushing right at the at Shigaraki, which was a, and was about to punch him in the gut. However, his punch was caught by the Nomu, as Shigaraki saying, Eraser head, you're quite the formidable hero after all. I have to give you some props. However, if you think that I'm the final boss, you are sorely mistaken. He is the final boss, with soon Nomu crushing Aizawa's arm. As for Izuku and Krizzly, the two be- still continue battling with Izuku getting hot, trying to use one of his high kicks before switching to a roundhouse kick as well. However, Krizzly was able to catch it and was about to slam him to the ground before Izuku punched him square in the face. As then he was sent flying backwards, but still standing. As soon Izuku trying to catch his breath saying, this guy, who the hell is this guy? Not only he looks like my dad, he has almost the same flames as him, but stronger. What the hell? As soon Grizzly saying, you, you're so damn annoying. Why can't you just die already? As then he removes the, his massive coat. As soon he released that of a menacing aura that almost everybody can feel now. Even Izuku saying, this, this guy, this guy's on a whole other level. But, but I'm not just going to sit by and do nothing while my classmates, my friends, even the person I cherish the most is, is fighting as well. I'm not going to sit by and do nothing. You hear me? Sing. Wouldn't have it any other way, brat. As soon after saying that, he was already in front of Izuku and then grabbed him by the face. But then Izuku, too slow to react, was then slammed to the ground as he continues being slammed to the ground repeatedly over and over again before being hit by flurry of fiery punches as well before being sent flying with the last punch as then he also begin he grabs him by his by his leg once more and then slams him to the ground over and over and over again once more with that Izuku couldn't help but feel like he's about to lose consciousness thinking damn it he's way much stronger now as then he looks at Grizzly once more with that of sadistic smile and saying, Dad, say, I am not your father. I am the original. I am the real K Dash. I'll prove it. First, I'll kill you. Then, I'm going to kill him. And then, Sarah will see the truth. I am her brother, not that faker. As saying, Sarah. This, what the hell is wrong with you, you bastard? As soon, his red flames begin turning green. As then, Izuku punches Chrysaly square in the face with all of his strength. As then, his punch actually does leave a burn mark this time. As soon, Chrysaly still standing, but in intense pain after that punch. As for Izuku, he basically takes off his broken glasses and then removes some blood from his mouth. It's saying, this isn't over yet, you son of a bitch. As then, Grizzly couldn't help but smile as flames begin to erupt from his body once more, saying, well then, brat, show me what you can do. After saying that, the gates were soon flanged open with a huge massive dust cloud at the entrance. 
as Izuku and Krizzly look at the horizon. As soon, a hulking figure appears as saying, students, never fear. As then, it being an angry All Might, as he soon rips his tie off and screams out, for I am here. As then, all the students at the entrance began couldn't help but feel excited seeing the number one hero finally appeared. As soon as Aizawa is also still conscious and not and not com and still at his limit, but has one broken arm instead, saying, took him long enough. Always gotta make the flashy entrance as usual. As soon, Izuku couldn't help but smile, seeing the number one hero here, saying, thank God. As then, soon, a couple, as then, a couple f figures soon dropped from the sky as well. But soon, Izuku saying, what the, who the, what, who the hell are, as then, one of them landed in the, well, in the disaster building zone as where Bakugo and Kirishima are. As they were about to finish up a couple of remaining villains in the area, as a man wearing a, a hat and a sunglasses soon appears with that of military gear as well. As a couple of villains see him saying, Hey, you, who the hell are you? Are you some kind of hero? You don't look like one of these kids. Soon saying, I found a couple targets ready to submit, ready to defeat in submission. As soon one of them scream out, what the hell are you talking about? As then the man basically grabs, grabs one of them and then put, throws him into the air and put him into a backbreaker. As the villain soon screams out in pain, as the other one was actually terrified and was about to run before he grabbed him by the legs and then spinning him around, tossing him off the building actually. Would soon sink. Hmm. This building is actually not that high up actually. So he should be alive temporarily. Thinking there are only at least a couple other villains here. As soon he hears multiple, it, he hears multiple explosions and also the scream of as then thinking, hmm, by the same, by that word die, I believe that's the same voice by the name, by the student voice of Katsuki Bakugo. He's not a threat, at least not yet, it seems. As soon after saying this, he couldn't help but actually take out a cigarette and smoke for a bit, saying, I got at least two, I got at least five minutes left before I had to meet up with everybody. I'll head out as soon as I'm done with this. As soon in the rock zone where Kaminari, Jiro, and Momo are, a man with wearing that of a tank top and a bandana, with be as he's a muscular, has a muscular built, as soon he's saying, you kids don't have to worry about this. I got this in the bag. As one of the villains saying, why are you so air? Hey, who the hell is this guy? And how he just show up jumping from the sky? As then he couldn't help but have that of a massive smile, massive grin on his face. As then he gets into a fighting stance with all the other villains rushing right at him. And for a split second, he rushes at them as well, while be as he has a fury of punches and kicks straight at the villains before taking one of the villains and savagely beating him in the face before sending him flying. Within a, f within a massive force of energy, he soon sends all of them fly, sends some of the villains flying backwards. As then thinking, whew, that takes care of that. At least better than your idea, basically letting that, letting that Kaminari kid shock everybody. He's saying, wait, how the hell does he know me? Well, you'll figure that out sooner or later. As soon saying, target's all taken care of, sir. Heading to the rendezvous area. Soon in the shipwreck zone, a tall muscular man, a tall man wearing somewhat that of a suit of armor, but actually being his body 
as he soon sang, sorry if I scared you. And, and, my, and my size may be sta unstabilizing the boat, sang, as Su Yu sang, who are you? Sang, don't worry, Miss Asuri and, Miss, and Mr. Mineta, I'm here to help you. After all, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if I let some of the friends of, my, of Izuku get hurt. As saying, wait, you know Izuku? Who? Cutting her off. As soon the man turns his arms into, half of his arms turn out into that of small turrets. But then rubber bullets began coming out with some of the aquatic villains going down in, down under the, into the ship, in the shipwreck zone as hoping that they wouldn't get shot. However, the bullets were being sent flying so much they didn't lose the momentum in the water as they were still getting hit entirely as floating back onto the surface, but knocked out in pain. As soon as his the, the turrets go back into his arm, but soon and I say, uh, are you, are you here to kill us? As soon as you saying, he said he was a friend of Yuzuku. Saying, well, he's more family than a friend. As soon into the other. Also, in the rain area, rain disaster area, Tokiyami was fighting alongside a woman with blue hair. As she basically took care of multiple villains like it was nothing. With Tokiyami quite impressed with her than anything. As soon as she's saying, targets all eliminated, heading to rendezvous area. As soon as she runs past e Tokiyami, with then she glancing at the raven bird boy, as soon as Tokiyami's saying, why? Why does she look so familiar to me? As soon she heading off, with Tokiyami thinking, even so, there are still some villains here who would take me out, but I think it's best if I follow after her, who knows what I would learn. As for nearing the entrance, there are three figures, one being with 13 and the remaining classmates of Class 1A, as she having brown hair and that of a, in a soldier's uniform, as she's in, as 13 saying, identify yourself, are you? Is she saying, please, Calm yourself, 13. My name is Whip, and I am part of the Ikari Warriors. And we, as she's saying, the Ikari Warriors, the international hero group, what are you guys? We've been tailing this group of villains for a time being, but we didn't expect them to strike UA so soon. But soon, saying, then, wait, you knew about these guys? Why didn't you? As soon, the other two figures are standing in front of Izuku as it being Cooler and his dad, K-Dash. As he's saying, Aunt Cooler? What are you? No. Dad? Saying, letting your ass get beaten by this, by this bastard, Izuku? Seriously, how weak have you gotten? As and saying, hey, you, after all that, that's what you say to me? You never change, don't you, you asshole? As then, K-Dash couldn't help but smile, saying, he's gotten good control over his green flames now. He really has gotten stronger. Even after getting brutally beaten by Crizzly, he's still able to stand and fight. I gotta give him that respect, at least. He really has grown. I'm proud of you, Izuku. As soon, Cool is saying, hey, you're not gonna say anything nice to your son after all these years? Saying, why would I need to? We have a job to do, Cooler. And if it wasn't for you to give us a tip, we wouldn't been here in time. Saying, yeah, yeah, whatever. As soon, Grizzly couldn't help but smile and then laugh maniacally as almost everybody heard this. But soon, even Whip hearing the saying, it's him again, Crizzly. As she couldn't help but feel an ache in her heart, 
at the clone of her of her younger brother as soon saying perfect this is the perfect time i can beat you here and now i didn't give a damn about the league of villains and their plan to defeat all might all i wanted was the chance to beat you as soon saying by going after my son what the literal hell is wrong with you oh wait i forgot you're obsessed trying to kill me that's for sure saying you I'm tired of being second nature to a fit to a clone of me saying did you forget you are not the original I am you're my clone you just have my memories that's all saying shut up I'm going to end this here and now as he rushes right at Kadash but soon cooler creating that of I of uh, flying ice shards right at the clone of Kadash would soon him burning them but then Kadash going straight at he's at Grizzly with it then releasing a fiery one inch punch would soon sending him flying onto the ground with then saying how saying you th didn't think I would still be getting stronger after all these years Please, just because I'm a father doesn't mean I still I gotten weaker, dumbass. As saying this, having having one of his hands in his pocket while his right hand is still burning with fire, saying, "And you choose the wrong person to go after. You chose my son. So, for a punishment for that, I'm going to beat you with every inch of my of your life. Don't pass out after I'm done with you, Chrysaly." Saying, don't get her yet! As try to release a powerful fire punch from his at Kadash. Kadash soon grabs it with just with his with just his right hand. As soon Kadash basically goes into a flurry's combo of punches and kicks. With then soon releasing another one a, a powerful punch of, of force with his fire as well. As then sending Chrysalis flying once more again, as then he was sent back to the center with, as he still rise in pain, as then it beat, as Korgiri was the one who saved him, thinking, this is not good. The Nomu was taking quite a bit of punishment as well from All Might. As then saying, doesn't matter. Chrysalis was nothing but a pawn. Just because we lose him doesn't mean a damn thing. All that matters is us killing All Might. As soon, Kadash saying, Cooler, go help All Might. Saying, seriously, you don't need my help? Saying, I got this, I promise. Just go help out that old man. And saying, fine, fine. As she soon rushes towards All Might to help him against the Nomu. But soon, Izuku st standing right beside Kadash, saying, And what the hell do you think you're doing, Izuku? Saying, Oh, nothing. Just enjoying the show. Just want to see how my dad basically kicks the shit out of the person that he says is his clone? Is saying, Oh, right. I didn't explain everything, didn't I? You left when I was freaking 12, asshole. Of course you didn't explain shit to me. And saying, Ugh. When this is over, I'll explain some things. Until then, just probably, I'm not seeing this fight out. I still need to kick, I still need to owe this guy a beating after all. Saying, fine, if that's what you want. But then, soon, Grizzly stands back up, spitting up a little bit of blood, saying, don't underestimate you, me, you fakers. As then, both Izuku and Kadash rush at Grizzly. With then back with the Nomu, All Might is still struggling against the Nomu. However, All Might was able to get help from Kula as well, as she used her ultimate move being Ice Executioner, as she soon encased the Nomu in pure ice. As soon, uh, Shigaraki saying, what? What the hell happened? 
set is soon. All my saying, Miss Diamond, I, I got this. Just give me a moment, All Might. As soon, she can tell that the Nomu is still alive. Is saying, normally I'm always willing to hold myself back because I don't like to hurt people. But for you, I think I'll make an exception. After saying that, she puts she piles on more and more ice through her ice executioner as the Nomu continues getting colder and colder and colder as normally it would be able to regenerate. However, it's completely encased in ice and it can't get out one bit as he's getting colder and colder making it harder to even see the Nomu in the case of ice. As soon, it becomes nothing but that of a giant hunk of ice. With then Cooler basically saying, well, that was weak. I thought he would get out a lot more easier than that. As soon, it, Shigarak saying, what? Why is the Nomu not getting out? He has super strength and even if he loses a limb, he has regeneration. Why is he saying, cause I made it so, so cold that it's made out of pure blue ice. His entire insides are frozen solid. Plus there's no brain activity anymore. He's completely, there's no way in hell he's gonna get out of that. And I basically stopped his heart too. So yeah, as, Shigura saying, that's not fair. That's so not fair. You cheated. As soon she's saying in that of a sarcastic and mocking tone, there's no such thing as cheating. And if anything, you guys cheated with trying to pile on with all those damn quirks. So Shigaraki, what's your next plan really? As soon Shigaraki saying, damn it, damn it. Where the hell is Grizzly? Korogiri, get him now! As Korogiri say, as you wish, Tomar Shigaraki. As soon, Izuku and K Dash are basically arguing with each other while fighting against Grizzly. As soon saying, why? Why the hell could I not lay a hit on either one of those idiots? As soon, K Dash saying, look, Izuku, I can handle this on my own. You don't need to continue helping me out. But then, K as Chrysalid tried to rush at K-Dash, Izuku ended up kicking him square in the face. With then saying, yeah, but I had this fight all in my hands. Just because I took a few beatings doesn't mean I can't handle them. As then, Chrysalid tried to try to send a fire attack straight at Izuku. However, it was blocked by K-Dash before using translocation to grab him, but grab him by his collar and slamming him to the ground and telling him, see, I got this under control. With then, Chris trying to stand, get up from being pinned by Kadash with his foot before Izuku basically, well, kicks, ki kicks Chrisley in the face, knocking him back down to the ground, saying, even though he was still able to move, not likely dead. As then, the two are just arguing constantly, saying on who had, who can beat him, even though the two of them were able to beat him together. With then, soon, Corgiri saying, I don't have time for this. Grizzly is out of the question, but we can't lose the subject from Ness so soon. As then, he creates a warp gate under the K Dash clone, as thinking, well, shit. As K Dash jumps alongside Izuku away from the warp gate, as Grizzly falls down, and then Shikaraki saying, Where the hell is Grizzly? Koro Gary saying, He's knocked out. He was defeated by the boy he was after. And it seems like somebody similar to him saying, What? You've got to be kidding me. He was the second thing that we would be able to defeat All Might with. And you're saying he was already beaten? Damn it. Damn it all. 
fine. I guess it's game over now. But soon, all might saying, you villains aren't going nowhere. As then, Shik Shikaraki was about to leave out of the warp gate before getting shot multiple times, not just in his hand, but also through his shoulder blades. As it not just coming from Snipe, it also came from Whip as well. As, as Snipe saying, you got quite the aim there, little lady. Saying, yeah, I'm real, I can handle myself with guns. It's actually my quirk after all. As Whip's quirk is called Weapon Master, she can basically master any type of weapon she has in her, that she has in her hand without doing intense training like normal people can. Shigaraki back in the bar and in on his knees in intense pain, having three having three bullets, one in his hand and the other in his sho and his shoulder blades, saying, "Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! How the hell did we lose? Why?" All Might was supposed to be there and be weakened, but then those people, who the hell were they? As soon, Grizzly saying, damn it, I didn't expect the Akari warriors showing up. Where, why, of all people, saying, you knew who they were? Why didn't you say anything? Because it didn't matter. Why would it? But then, Shikurai saying, you know, for that, I should disintegrate you here and now. What's stopping me? Saying, our tech, the nest technology you want so badly, do you really want to cost your master all that information? I swear the location it is. Saying, why you? As then, a voice through the TV saying, calm yourself, Tomura. We still need Chrysaly. Plus, he's only just one aspect of people we can use. There are still many more we can rely on, after all. As after saying this, Shigaraki saying, What do you mean by that, Master? With then, back of the USJ, everyone in Class 1A is basically safe and sound. With all the Ikari warriors all together now, with then being, with soon, Izuku saying, damn it, I just got the, and I just started liking these sunglasses. Where, now I can't, now I just gotta go and get new ones. And as soon, K Dash pulls out another pair saying, here, you can use these. They're a spare pair after all. I keep a spare pair after all. Saying, really? Oh, thanks. As Izuku puts on a new pair of sunglasses, as everyone in class 1A looks at Izuku and his father, K Dash, as even Tokuyami is basically starstruck seeing his idol standing right in front of him. Would soon come out saying, uh, is, is that who I think it is? Because he looks so much like Midoriya. With Jiro soon saying, but the only difference is Midoriya's hair is a lot more messy. And not only that, he's shorter too. As then, Baka saying, I never met his dad in person. I only heard about him. So that's the hero K Dash. As soon, even Shoto looks at the dark hero pro as well. As he's saying, he's K Dash. He's the one who trained Midoriya. As soon. He couldn't help but feel a little bit frustrated. As for as for all the police and the here and the UA faculty members have made it with taking care of the remaining villains nearby. However, there were only a little bit left, thanks to thanks to the members of the Akari Warriors and K Dash's team taking them down easily with no problems whatsoever. Would soon everyone, one of the police officers being Detective Sugaguchi goes to K Dash. However, the one who stands in front of him being the woman with the with the blue hair, that being Leona, saying, Se Second Lieutenant Leona from the Akari Warriors, I'm here on behalf of our commander, 
Hayden Singh. He, so, the International Heroes Ikari Warriors shows up just out of nowhere as usual. What is reason for this as well? Saying, our commander will be waiting for you at the police station and it will all explain everything. If you would let, if you would want us, we want to make sure that all of the villains here have been apprehended and taken care of. If you, if you would allow us. As soon, Subaguchi can say, all right, we'll allow this, but we prefer a lot more information once we arrive at, at headquarters after all, with her saying, yes, sir. As then, Izuku can help but feel, you know, I didn't expect you to show up just out of nowhere and save my ass. So they're saying, well, it's just out of nowhere. You should be a lot more grateful that your dad just shows up helping you. Saying, Psh, like I needed your help. Saying, ungrateful little brats, stuck up old man. As soon the two look at each other before giving each other a, hand, a hug, saying, I miss you, dad. Saying, you, me too, Izuku. With that, they saying, what just happened? With Tsuyu walking up to Izuku and Kadash, with Izuku turning around saying, Tsuyu, hey, I'm glad you're all right. I was really worried when you disappeared. I'm saying, you're hurt, as his face is still pretty battered and bruised. After fighting Grizzly ass, yes, saying, oh, yeah, don't worry, I'm fine, you don't have to. As she soon hugged Izuku, saying, I was so worried for you, Izuku. I was really, really worried. As Izuku saying, uh, see you, I, I, I'm sorry. Sorry if I did worry you. After that, Kadash can help but smile. As it almost remind, as Suyu and Hizuku almost reminded him of himself and Inko. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to read them. Also, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And also, this video is really goddamn long, if I do have to say so. I made the script way too detailed. At any rate, hope you really enjoyed this. And also check out my Discord and gaming channel. Links will be in the description below if you feel like checking them out. With all that said, this is Leon Moki, signing out. Later, guys. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you liked Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, Click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist. If you still haven't subscribed, do so in the center. With that said, I hope to see you again on my love's channel. Bye!